Welcome to another quick tutorial. Uh, this one I want to show you how you can create a vector image from um, any photo you want to bring into Illustrator um, using Adobe Illustrator CC. Um, this is uh, Adobe Illustrator 2020. Um, so I've just got my layout view here. Um, you could be in any view you want. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is just go to file and place and find the image and I'm just bringing in this image of a uh, bear um, that has set dimensions um, and you'll notice that when I have my image in here placed that um, up top you can see that I've got this information about this linked file um, so what we can do um, straight away is we can um, if we want to do, we just click image trace and this would immediately uh, trace our image and do um, create a vector black and white image of that. And maybe that's what you're going for in your design. Um, but there are some other cool Im um, things that you can do here. If you go up to the image trace and select this down arrow next to it, there's a lot of different types of uh, effects you can add. So um, let's just try doing the six colors and this will kind of create, um, there's a lot of pixels for it to cluster in here. So it's going to go through and it's going to choose a color palette for me um, and it's going to spit out a cool looking graphic that's vectored um, and let's just see what it comes up with. Cool. So now we've got this graphic, graphic looking image of my bear. And um, what we want to do now, if this is the effect that we're going for, is we just want to um, basically go in and click this expand button. And what that's going to do is it's just going to create groups for all of my different layers um, based on color. And what we can do is we can then ungroup this. So now I can come in. And if I just want to like get rid of um, certain elements of this, I could do that. Um, certain elements of the background that I don't want. Um, so the other thing I could do is I could select different elements and uh, change the colors um, to fit the uh, fit a different color scheme. If for some reason you wanted to do that, you could come in here and play with different color types. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we could even go back and start this over again to our original image. I'm just gonna hit Command Z. Okay, cool, and then we can, since it's a vector, we can jump in here. You notice the resolution is quite good. Um, let's expand this and let's ungroup it. And now I can even select different groups and you could resize them, move them around, uh, play around with it however you want. But um, I kind of like this uh, this look, so, um, oops. But anyway, if this is the look that I'm trying to achieve, then I've got myself a uh, pretty cool vectored image that I can do uh, a lot of things with. And uh, as I said before, decide which groups I want to keep and which ones I want to get rid of or what colors I want to add. If I want to add a different color scheme in here, I can go through and, and do all that. But basically, this is a really straightforward way of just letting the computer trace an image and create a vectored uh, image trace that you can use in your graphic design. So hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.